Hey everybody, I have another haul for you as per the usual. This haul is from ASOS. I was not paid or compensated in any way to make this haul. This is literally, I went on the site and I was like, let's see what ish I want. <clears throat> so the thing about ASOS is they package your stuff in the funniest way possible because they send you this bag with like a little handle. Now we all know like, look, that handle, that handle's gone. This is not, this is not a functioning handle. Why is this handle on a bag? Like, I guess it's working right now, but it's about, it's actually about to break. So we're gonna beat up, but this is what the ASOS bag looks like. Very 90s feeling print, this black and white. And uh, yeah, it's real big, cause I got a little crazy on the site. Not really. I just figure I won't like it all, so I can just return what I don't like. That's the joy of ASOS. If you don't know this about ASOS, let me just take a quick little session here. Again, not sponsored, but if you pay like a nominal amount, you can get free <clears throat> two day shipping for like ever. Not forever, for the year. But you can order things, get it in two days. If you don't like it, ship it back. That is very, very helpful. That is also why I like Amazon Prime because when I want something, I want it quickly. Okay, let's get into what's actually in here. One thing I've noticed about the bag that's changed since they've purchased in the past is they've made the bag redesigned so when you want to ship stuff back, it's actually super easy because you open the bag, there's this thing here, just fold it back over and ship it back. It's like, they read my mind. They know I'm shipping a bunch of this back. Not a bunch, just anything I don't love. Right? Okay, let's get into this for real now. I drooled down my face. How did I even do that? This is the first item. How do I open you? Oh, here we go. Ooh, look at me being all classy. So the first time I bought because I love color. Duh. <laughs> Says the girl in the multicolor dress. This just was so cute. It reminded me of Rainbow Bright. It reminded me of My Little Ponies. It reminded me of all the things. It reminded me of like a little girl dress. And seriously, if I could dress like a little girl, I would. I know that's not the best thing for a 30-something adult to be saying, but in my mind, I would love to just wear brightly colored tights and dinosaur print tunics every day of the year. Anyway, so it's got this cute chevron rainbow print. Some nice little ruffling here at the sleeves and then just a straight t-shirt dress down. Now, I sometimes have issues ordering from ASOS. I know a lot of people do because sometimes the sizing is a little inconsistent. So looking at this, um, I got a 24 just because I was worried about my hips. I think there's gonna be plenty of room in this. I might have been able to order a 22. It's a nice cotton mix. The screen print is in like a standard screen print form. There is seaming, but it is down the back, so it's not down the front. And as far as what this is made of, <clears throat> taking a look in a book, reading rainbow, I can wear anything. Anyway, sorry, just got into it. It's a polyester and cotton mix. So it is not a full cotton um, t-shirt dress. It is a mix. I will say it is very soft, so I like that about it. It is very, very comfortable. I do like it. It's a rainbow, how could I hate it? Let's be real here. Whoa, hold on there, Junior. <clears throat> so these, these are what they call a plise pant and they are black with white tipping here at the bottom or like a white color block. Plise is this like accordion style print, slightly stretchy fabric. You can see it's very lightweight, very much spring item here. This is again in a 24. It's got a nice elastic waist. It's gonna be very comfortable because of the plise because that kind of gives you some loosey goosey fit. As far as what please a is actually, and if I'm saying that wrong, like someone please jump on the train and be like, girl, it's plies or whatever other way you could pronounce please a. I just keep thinking please a, please and thank you. Please a and thank you. Okay, I cannot find the tag of what it's, oh, it was right in front of me the whole time. Of course it was. It is 100% polyester. So there you go. I think these will be fun, different. I wanted something a little bit, kooky. I, it's not kooky. 
I wanted something dressy that was a little bit different and I felt like these would be a fun little work you know business boss lady pant but a little bit more eccentric so these feel like I'm wearing a skirt but I'm wearing pants very very lightweight very very breezy I'm a little concerned whether the plise will hold when I wash them because I just I'm concerned that it's kind of like a pleating technique that could be easily destroyed Da -da -da. This I bought because I read somewhere that Fringe was in. And then I was like, well, I guess I need this then. This is a black shirt with floral embroidery and the Fringe. I don't know if you can see it. Swish, 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 swish. I ordered this in a size US 20. Super glad I did because I think if I had ordered any larger size, it would be super big on me. Um, cause it already looks like it's going to be a loose fitting t-shirt, which is exactly how this shirt would fit. So I'm excited about that. Looking at the construction, what it's actually made of, this t-shirt is hundred percent cotton. Now the embroidery on it is viscose. So you're going to want to watch when you iron something like this, just be careful, make sure you're following the settings for the embroidery, not for the shirt because I have lost some things to that because I was just saying it's cotton and it's not. It's really fun. I love fringe. I love that Western style wear is coming back. All I want is to find like a grandma who is plus size, who just wants to auction off her amazing Western wear, bright colorful patched shirts. Cause then I would just snap them all up. So I actually used to have a shirt like this a million years ago, except it had fringe all the way down the back and it would get caught and everything. But I wore that shirt to pieces. So it's kind of a little bit of a deja vu. I, this has floral applique, which that one did not have. This is like the Trixie Mattel version of that shirt I had when I was younger. And actually it was when I first moved to New York. Ooh, irony in the form of a shirt. I want to just do this because it's like Western wear. <laughs> Oh. I got a little nervous because I knocked the camera and then it almost fell over and I was like, no! I already lost one camera this month. I can't lose two. The great flood of Glitter and Laser's apartment. So these are different than I thought they would be already. They are a mint athleisure crop. Now I thought this was going to be more of a jersey print. They are blinding by the way. It's like you look at these and your eyes are like, now I thought these were gonna be more of a jersey pant. They are a true athletic pant, which is actually exciting because I'm more excited about them with that. Here's the rub though. Sometimes ASOS does not, or ASUS, ASUS, that's how you're supposed to say it, does not put like a drawstring waistband in athletic pants. And for someone who has to order a size larger for my thighs, the waist slips down. And I literally had a pair of like blur joggers like mauve I had a mauve little <laughs> jogger set that's what I want and I put my own cord in it and it was really irritating that I had to do that I had to press in eyelets all of that stuff and I'm like I look at this and I go these are so rad but why did you not just put a drawstring in it, it makes so much sense logically it fits with the pant okay that was my little tirade Oh my goodness, they have a soft inside like a sweatpant. I'm gonna show you this because I was a little surprised here because these don't feel like a normal athletic pants. Do you see that? It's like a sweatpant, but the like top part definitely feels like a nylon pant. So now I'm I'm confused. What is this sorcery? What are they doing? It's polyester. I don't know. Magic polyester, man. Polyester just does stuff that I did not understand at all like make pants feel plasticky on one side and sweatshirty on the other there is nothing i can say that will make what these pants are doing to my legs okay they are way too tight in the thighs and also someone's like i know what plus size girls need a low rise hell no my butt needs to be contained these are 100 percent going back i hate them
Sometimes you just want a little drama in your life. I saw this and I was just like, I want a very dramatic Valentine's Day look. So I got this duster. Now, I'm gonna throw this out there. It, mm, it looks like an underwear nighty. <laughs> Like I just should put a bra, I'm going to, I'm going to put a bra and underwear under this and take a photo. Old Hollywood glam style, because that's what it feels like, right? I guess you could wear it as a normal shirt, but it's very sheer. It's very like, rawr. I don't know why you would want to wear it anywhere else except for a boudoir shoot. Man, where would I even shoot boudoir? My house is so like unsexy. It's not like a, it's not, it's not like there's no wrought iron bed perfectly fluffed white pillows or like stray feathers just flying. I don't have any boas. I don't want to even do a boudoir shoot. Anyway, this is made of polyester. It's got some cute buttons right here, two of them. They are attached with an elastic closure so their buttonhole is, <laughs> that sounded dirty to me but it was funny. Um, the actual thing that the button is wrapped in or that you close the button with is elastic so it makes it easier to close. The arms themselves are like a balloon sleeve, come down to an elastic right around this kind of crook in your arm. And then the shirt itself flows out with ruffles. Obviously it's high-low. It doesn't really close in the front, it just kind of goes out. So again, this doesn't feel like a shirt, this feels like a bedroom cover-up, which I'm okay with. Or, oh my god, it would be such a good swim cover-up. This would be an amazing swim cover-up. In fact, redo i'm saving this and it's gonna be a swim cover up whenever i go on that vacation that i keep talking about that i can't afford so whenever that happens i'll wear this over a suit and it'll be hot oh i believe in miracles since you came along you sex the thing you sex the thing babe yes i believe in miracles where did you come from baby sorry that's how i feel in this it is very sexy, it is very sensual, and it is definitely not a shirt. Swim cover up, lingerie cover up. Final answer. Also, the sleeves go to your wrist. I thought they went here. I was, but no. Full sleeve, man. Unexpected surprises with this one. What is this? I do not remember. What? The hell is... I actually can't figure out what this is. What are you? Oh, okay. It's a bodysuit. It's like some straight up Beyonce bodysuit. Oh, no, now I've messed it up again. It's very confusing. More confusing than I thought a bodysuit could ever be. Did I do this right? I'm so confused. Oh guys, guys, I'm gonna have to put underwear on when I try this because it is 100% thong. Oh yeah. I'm 99.9% .9 sure I'm gonna return this no matter how banging it looks on me because hell no I will not spend my night in a thong just to wear a bodysuit. I know some girls are like, but thongs are so uncomfortable. I don't know who you are, I don't know what underwear you're wearing, but I've worn a thong, it is not comfortable. And the last thing I wanna do is be in the challenge of a bodysuit and the discomfort of a thong. I can only do one, people. I can only do one weird, uncomfortable thing to be fashionable. So it's gonna be shapewear, or it's gonna be a thong, or it's gonna be a bodysuit, because a bodysuit you have to like take it off when you pee or like pull it to the side. It's like a lot of work. I cannot do any combination of the three. So I will not do shapewear plus a thong. I not, will not do shapewear plus the bodysuit. I will not do shapewear, oh no, I won't do bodysuit plus thong. This, this is too many of the things I don't like. Now I do like the design, so I'm a little bummed that it's got a thong because I would have worn it probably a lot because look how easy it is to get off and on. You just go, bloop, bloop, don't even have to unsnap it. Thoughtful design. It's probably why I picked it out. But it's got a thong, so I'm just, I'm hurt, guys. I'm hurt that someone made this, that someone's doing this to me. Anyway, okay, so it is viscose and elastostane. What it's doing is it's crisscrossing in the front, long sleeve coming down to a thong at the bottom. I don't, I can't even. 
Why? Why do you do this to me? <laughs> I can't today. I just can't. It's going back because I'm not wearing a thong bodysuit. I'm just not doing it. Pass. Nope. Like, emoji. This girl. This girl. I don't know why this means necessarily no, I get that she's exing, but like a lot of people do this in like a cool way. Does this say no or does this say, yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm just saying, it's not always an accurate hand signal. I digress. So these, I know what they are and I bought them because they were on clearance and because I have a really hard time buying shorts. And I was like, well, if these work and they're like $6 holla, then I'm gonna get them. If they don't work, I'll just boop, ship them back as one does. So these are cute little scallop trim shorts. I think I had these in another color last season and I wore them through. So these actually look perfect. I'm probably gonna keep them. They're in this orangey color that's perfect for the like sorbet colors that are really gonna be popular in spring or so the internet tells me. Watch the internet will be live and be like, guys, just kidding. We're gonna keep wearing dark colors into the spring. And they'll be like, no! All I can think of is, um, what's that movie? Devil Wears Prada, where she's like, florals for spring, how revolutionary. But everyone was like, florals, when they were putting out the thing. So I thought that was really funny. Anyway, these are mostly cotton with a little elasticity and they're really cute. Kind of have some pleating here at the top and then the cute little scallop detail at the bottom. So I'm into them. I just got them because, I, you know, if you are a big thick thighed girl, you know how hard it is to get short. So when you find a pair that works and then you see it in clearance, you just go back and get it again. So as I said previously, I've already purchased these in a different color and I love them. Dana, come here, come here. He's like, no, no, I shall not come to you. He hates when I film holes. <laughs> he usually hides in the bedroom. But uh, yeah, so I bought them before. They're super comfortable. My only like gripe on them is that they don't have pockets, but I'll take them because they're comfortable. They fit me well. And that's a rarity for me in shorts. I got a lot of stuff. This will be a really long haul. Sorry. Not sorry. So this is, ooh, okay. I'm a sucker for O-ring zippers, which is what this is. It has a front zip here, half zip, which is actually just attached to a mock neck. So I'm gonna look at how this looks on. It might look better down or up. Usually I find it looks better up. And then you have a ruffle that starts here, right at the top. It starts here at the neckline and it goes across through the middle of the sleeve, down through the middle of the sleeve, all the way down to a fully elasticized like cuff. Now here's the other thing I'm gonna show out. You got a little bit of puffing here. So you're gonna have a little bit of a pop shoulder or a little bit of a puffy shoulder. And it's a dress which goes probably about knee length. So it might be a little bit shorter than knee length on me, yeah, but for most people it'll be knee length. I love the color on this. This is definitely a good mix of athleisure and kind of the romantic details we're seeing for this season. So I'm excited to kind of give this a go, see if it works for me. So I was like super excited about this dress, but it is not meaty neck approved. It is really tiny and I don't particularly like it unzipped. I think it kind of looks silly. I just, this is so tight. <laughs> it's the worst. I'm stepping on bags. So help me, please don't let me fall over. I'm trying to save all the bags so I can return the stuff I don't want. What is this? It's weird that I don't remember like 90% of this haul. Oh, this is cute. So this is a slightly off the shoulder cropped black sweatshirt. Um, this is from a brand called South Beach, which I'm not super familiar with. I likely purchased this to go with the mid pants that we saw earlier. It's just a cute variation on a black sweatshirt. As I'm working more from home or from coffee shops or everything else, I wanna be able to have some casual clothing that looks really, really cute, but it's still very, very comfortable. So this will look really cute with those athletic pants that I showed you earlier, the mint ones, or pretty much anything, because it's just a basic black sweatshirt with a little bit more of an open neck. So it's gonna come out almost like a, not quite off the shoulder, but like almost like a 
cross between a ballet and a round neck. It's just a round, it's a large, oh, it's like this. Let me just keep doing it. I'm just gonna commit to the movement. But you get what I mean, right? You get what I mean, it's a big neck. So no matter how meaty your neck is, it's gonna get through here. There's no problems. You got so much room to get your neck through. Sometimes with sweatshirts, you don't. Every plus girl knows that. Sometimes you'd be like, and you know I used to do in high school where you'd like cut here because the hood would be like, you have to like cut right there so like the hood would have enough room for your meaty neck. Yeah, my meaty neck made things rough in high school. So even though those pants were like the biggest bust on the planet, this sweatshirt is actually really cute. I like that it's not totally off the shoulder, but I'm really digging the neckline and how it's so, I'm trying to show you guys, <laughs> I can't keep my hair off my shoulder. It's so wide. Moving on from my meaty neck. <laughs> this is, oh, this is really cute. Okay, so again, with kind of ruffles theme, this is a shirt that looks fairly normal from the front. It's navy, has like a slight, you know, round neck, not anything crazy. And then sleeves just all look normal, right? Everything looks fairly normal. Now flip it around, and yes, this is the back of the dress. As you can see, the tag, boop, 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 is on the back. Not only does it have a cutout here, which is super fun, super cute, super different, it's got these fun ruffled arms that go all the way down. I love pieces like this because they're totally unexpected, something a little different, a little fun. And then we're down again at the cuff color. So again, this is a mix of that romanticism, a little bit of that athleisure, still seeing some interesting cutouts this season. I just think this is super cool. It's a basic dress, what I like to call those one and done dresses that you can put on and instantly look cool. Like this is, I would look cool in this. People would ask me where I got it. Um, so I, I really, I mean, I rely on ASOS a lot for these one and done pieces because uh, sometimes like a dress like this, if you go too far with it, it'll just look like you're trying. But if you, or, well, we're all trying, let's be real. If you're trying too hard, I guess is a better way to say it. But if you kind of just throw on some gold hoops and, and let the dress live for what it is, which is freaking awesome is what it is, that's when you have a moment. A moment. So I love how the ruffles are way more noticeable when it's on, because they actually kind of fall like at the sides. I don't know how to explain that. I really like this dress. I think it's really cute. It's really comfortable. It's a great color, very versatile. And it's <laughs> surprising. So this is a black dress. I again got it in the 24 just because I was nervous about the size fitting me in, but it does look bigger, which is probably good because I probably need the way, like the space in my thighs anyway. It's got fun little kind of tabbed shoulders here, but you can't remove the tab. That's just like a detail on the sleeve. It is probably that same polyester cotton mix that we were looking at in the other t-shirt dress. They feel very similar, but I'm gonna go ahead and check just to make sure. It's actually 100% cotton, so I lied, I'm wrong. It feels very similar though. It's lightweight and I thought as we're moving into spring, as it's getting warmer, like everybody just needs staple t-shirt dresses and I thought this would be a great thing to share with you guys as an example of like a black t-shirt dress that you could dress up, dress down, throw a little belt on it. It's definitely more professional, maybe like a fun scarf or a necklace you could wear it to work. Throw it on with some chucks and a hat, baseball hat, you're wearing it to brunch. So there's a lot of fun things you could do with something like this and definitely something you should have in your wardrobe for spring. So this is fun, it's really basic. It's an oversized t-shirt dress. I will say it's a little baggy because usually everything has a little tightness in my thighs because my thighs are huge. But here it just, it feels big. Get out of your bag. Stop fighting me. Whoop, 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 whoop. So these pants are also from clearance. This might be the longest haul I've ever filmed, by the way. I had to stop it because I was running out of time to film and switch the card. I'm not even kidding you. These are some black Obi style pants. They've got a nice pocket. That's where they come across and tie in the front and have more of like a carrot shape to the leg, which for me is perfect because I have a carrot shaped leg. <laughs> mm. 
to go buy now these delicious carrots anyway i thought the color was great for valentine's day i'm working on some fun valentine's day looks and i thought this would be an easy way to bring that red in i also like that they're not a super traditional red they're more of a cayenne they've got a little bit of a touch of orange to them which i think is lovely um just to add a little bit something different a little bit of a spice to my wardrobe muy caliente as far as what these are made out of <laughs> found it these are made of polyester viscose and elastane so they do have a little stretch to them though i'm going to tell you feeling here not a lot these are not very stretchy pants they're moderately stretchy pants so when we talk about stretch sometimes people put stretch in clothing so that it can like contract back to a shape this is to prevent things like stretching out your jeans when you sit down so elastane can be used to make things more able to get bigger, but it also can be used in the opposite way to contract the fabric in once it does expand. So in this case, it's not to add additional space or to create wiggle room like a pair of leggings. It's so that the fabric uh, can maintain its shape and the pant can maintain its shape through an entire day's wear. So that's just a little fun fact again, but I love the color and these are gonna be super great for the look look. I think these pants are super fun. And I already know how many of them in my Valentine's Day lookbook. So you know what? I'm already sold on them. <laughs> so the final item is appropriately the final item. You can see it as neon pink. Now, one of the things I rely on ASOS for is just stuff you're never going to see anywhere else. And a lot of stores say that, but like this is said with, the best heart and the worst heart because sometimes the stuff you see on ASOS you're just like oh my god where did that come from and other times you're like wow I've never seen a dress like that it's beautiful but it's like either fantastical or just like the worst thing you've ever seen and I saw this dress and I couldn't decide what it was but I knew that if Lisa Turtle was still a person on TV that she would wear it and so I got this dress in honor of Lisa Turtle, my favorite character on Saved by the Bell because her fashion sense was impeccable and I will, for the love of me, buy every skirt she wore if it gets made in plus size. So this is a neon mesh leopard print dress. It is lined once you get to the, to the bust. It comes down to a crisscross, a side cutout, because it just needed a cutout too. And goes down into like more of a loose skirt. I can't decide if this dress is gonna be fabulous or hilarious. Oh, lest I forget, there are shoulder pads. Just in case. So this, this is one of those things where I'm like, well, somebody's gotta try it on. That somebody shall be me. And I actually do like hot pink. It is good with my skin, so I don't really like mind taking one for the team on this. So this could be incredible. This also could be terrible. But I was fascinated at the fact that it even existed, that it was made, put into production. I'm staticky, my skirt is sticking to the outfits now. I'm fascinated that this exists, that it got put into production, that it not only got made, but it got made for plus size. Like usually these bold, crazy dresses, like just don't get made for plus size, period. Because if they're like, uh, if they're a gamble, they'll take the gamble on straight sizes. But no, ASOS took the gamble on plus sizes. So I just can't even. Um, on the back, you'll see that there's also a, a keyhole neckline, a very long one, and a full zipper down. It's lined in a ponte fabric, so it's full stretch. I got this in a 22. And man, I'm, I'm, well, you tell me what you thought of this dress on me. Should I keep it? Should I kill it? Should I burn it? Should I mail it back? What should I do? And uh, I don't think I rationally need a place to wear it either. So uh, don't give me like, oh, you'll never wear it. Because I think if it looks cool, I'll find a way. And Fashion Week is coming up. Guys, I really need your help on this one. I keep going back and forth. I love the color. The cut is flattering. This is weird. Like, why does this exist? I don't know. But I'm like, is that enough to hate it? And then... The shoulder pads I both love and kind of hate. I can't, I can't decide. What do you guys think? Should I keep it or should I get rid of it? Should I return it? So my dears, my dears, I have talked a lot. I have looked at a lot of things from ASOS. And uh, 
I've tried those things on. That would mean, guys. <laughs> we're at the end of the haul. Links to everything are down in the description box, as per usual. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll check you later, and peace.